Hello and welcome to the Scrapbook Pals YouTube channel. My name is Terry and today I'll be sharing a card that I created using some products from Spellbinders. So let's get started. So to start off my project today, I am going in with a few products from Spellbinders. The first set that I'll be using today is called Hummingbird and Lily. This is a layering die set and I really like it because it comes with a hummingbird as well as a few lily petals. So along with this die set, I will be going in with a stencil. This one's also from Spellbinders and this one is called Hummingbird Textures. And I really like this because there's three different options that you can use. And also, of course, for the sentiment, I'm going in with a stamp set here. All of the products that I've used today in this video will be linked down below if you're interested in taking a look. Okay, so to start off my card, I am pulling out all of the dies that I will be using. So like I mentioned earlier, I will be only using the hummingbird die today, as well as the cloud die. And I love that it came with a cloud die because that's just a basic die that you need in your stash. And I love the shape on this one. Okay, so I pulled everything out and I'll be die cutting this out of white cardstock. I went ahead and die cut everything off screen and now I'm going in with a blending brush and a pink shade of ink. This one is from Catherine Puller Designs. This one is in the color pink champagne and I'm just lightly brushing the ink onto the die cut pieces. What I want to do here as I'm ink blending is I want to create a lot of color on one side of the die cut. So this creates a bit of a shadow and then just taking a lighter hand towards the end of the feather or the pieces of the bird, the hummingbird. After blending the ink onto the die cut pieces, now it's time to assemble the hummingbird together. So I really like how easy this was. There are notches that's and print it in a die cut where it makes it easy for you to kind of line up the pieces together. Here you can see that I'm putting the body of the hummingbird together. Then I went ahead and added the wings on. So now it's time to create the background. And this background is fairly simple. I just went ahead and used a stencil that I mentioned earlier. This one again is called Hummingbird Texture and this one's from Spellbinders. I started by placing the stencil at an angle on top of white cardstock, then going in with a tiny blending brush and a shade of light blue ink, I blended that onto the cardstock. As you can see here, I'm not going heavy, I'm going very light and I'm not shading in all of the open pieces of the stencil. So I went ahead and removed the stencil and now I'm going towards the bottom half of the cardstock. So off screen, I went ahead and die cut some of the cloud dies out of white color cardstock and I applied the first die cut towards the bottom of the ink blended panel. Now going in with the second piece, I applied that towards the top and don't mind the excess piece that's hanging off of the card panel. I am going to trim that off with scissors. That was just me trying to save every scrap of cardstock in my craft room. Okay, so here is the third piece. And when I was looking at the third piece, I wanted to add a little bit of color. So going in with the same color ink pad that we used earlier with the stencil, I'm just ink blending that around the edges of the clouds. This is just giving a little bit more interest and a little more dimension to the eyes. And for some extra interest, I went in with some gold paint and splattered that onto the card panel. Okay, so now for the sentiment. There are so many cute sentiments in this stamp set. I decided to go with the one that says, sending healthy vibes your way. And I stamped that down onto the card panel with clear ink and I'm using Versamark ink. And then I'm going in with some embossing powder. I am using the rose gold color from Lawn Fawn and I love this embossing powder. I don't use it enough, but I love the color that it creates. Okay, and the finished card, I just added a few embellishments, some gold baubles, and I adhered that onto the card panel, as well as use a white gel pen to add highlights and details throughout. And that pretty much completes the card. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.